Hi, welcome to my review of 22 Jump Street, directed by Phil Lord and Chris Miller, a film that once again follows the much-loved buddy cop duo Schmidt and Jinko. However, this time they go undercover as college students to find yet another drug kingpin responsible for another on the raids hallucinogen. Okay, so before I start talking about 22 Jump Street, I do have a confession to make. I've never actually seen 21 Jump Street only until just a couple of days ago. And the reason I haven't seen it only until just a couple of days ago was because it was one of those films that was essentially a victim of bad marketing. From what I remember the trailers, they didn't look all too good. And the same could unfortunately be said for the trailers for 22 Jump Street. There was really nothing that really grabbed me. I mean, there were some little comedic bits here and there, but nothing that really made me want to go, okay, I want to see this film. But given that Phil Lord or Chris Miller directed one of my personal favorite films of this year, and that is, of course, the Lego movie, a movie that everyone loved, and 22 Jump Street was coming up, I decided to check out 21 Jump Street. And 21 Jump Street was kind of one of those movies that actually impressed me a little bit because of not only the great comedy, the clever script, and, you know, I love a movie that is self-aware, but the camaraderie between Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum, I mean, two people, you would typically not think would have the best on-screen chemistry, but they actually really did. And not only that, but it was also in this film that actually made Channing Tatum look good as an actor. He wasn't just on screen just to get the girls in the theater or whatever. No, he was actually really good in the film. I mean, he's good when he's working with comedy. And regarding Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum's chemistry in 22 Jump Street, it's just as good or as great as it was in 21 Jump Street. But the one thing that has been changed in 22 Jump Street versus 21 Jump Street is that Ice Cube is actually given more to do and he's actually funnier than he was in the first film. And what I also like about Ice Cube in this film as well as the last one is that he kind of takes that image that he has out there, kind of flips it on his head and kind of parodies it. Albeit I haven't seen too many films with Ice Cube um, because most of his films that he's in are kind of terrible. Uh, He's actually really good in this film. I mean, as a comedian, he does a fantastic job. And again, like the first film, it is very clever. It does have some great comedy, great timing, and there are parts that genuinely had me laughing out loud. And not only that, but the end credit sequence is spectacular. It's very clever. It's a lot of fun. And I love how it pokes fun at Hollywood for making sequels, sequels that are unnecessary, just not needed, and are quite frankly, shit. Um, I love how it pokes fun of that. But given that Everything I've said, all the great things I've said about 22 Jump Street, I don't believe it's as good as the first film. Although the film does indeed acknowledge this, my problem with 22 Jump Street is that the plot and the structure is quite similar to the first film, and albeit that this is nothing like one of the laziest cash-ins in recent memory, The Hangover Part 2, this is something that did kind of bug me a little bit. Although this film does indeed have some alternations from the previous film, and given how, and I've said this many, many times, given how clever this film actually is, I feel as if this film is better than to fall back on such a trick. And to add on to that, the side characters in 22 Jump Street I don't believe are as memorable as the side characters in 21 Jump Street. And not only that, but I do believe that 21 Jump Street had a better heart. And I know I've done nothing but essentially compare 22 Jump Street to 21 Jump Street, but I think that's okay because one, 22 Jump Street is a sequel to 21 Jump Street, and not only that, they're so similar to the point where you pretty much have no choice but to compare the two. Overall, I don't believe 22 Jump Street is as good as 21 Jump Street. However, with that said, I do believe it is a very good comedy, so I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. As always, I'm Colin Kirkland, and thank you so much for watching.